Hi guys, it's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds. If you're new here, then welcome. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you're a regular, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Sonos 5 wireless speaker, an upgrade of the much-loved Play 5 released on the 10th of June. We always make sure we review any new products to help you guys decide if it's the right choice for you, and that's also why we offer a 30-day listen better promise, just in case we're wrong. So let's get on with the video. So the new Sonos 5 was one of three new products launched in June 2020 along with the Sonos Arc soundbar and Sonos Sub Gen 3 subwoofer. It has replaced the hugely popular Play 5 model which was Sonos's first all-in-one wireless speaker. This new model has dropped the Play and now uses the word 5 instead of the number. As a wireless smart speaker it can be used on its own, in a stereo pair, as rears or as part of a whole house wireless setup. Retailing at 499, it's the largest standalone speaker that Sonos offers and provides studio quality stereo sound to fill a large room. If we take a look at the design, the 5 has had a bit of a refresh and if we put it side by side next to the older Play 5, you can see some slight changes. The new 5 is much more in line with the style of the newer Sonos products such as the Sonos One and Sonos Arc with a more modern and sleek feel. This perforated grille across the front is now colour matched with the rest of the speaker, offering an all white or all black design as opposed to the older white Play 5 which had a white body but retained the black front. The logo on the front is also more discreet on this new design. Otherwise the design is the same as the Play 5 with the touch panel controls on the top for play pause, changing the volume or skipping track. It's also the same size and shape and has the same ports on the back, so it's got an ethernet port, a power port, a join button, and a very useful 3.5mm jack for line in, which I'll discuss later on in the video. Both models have these little rubber feet on three of the sides, as they can be stood in two different orientations, vertical or horizontal, and these feet prevent any damage to the surface you place it on. I'll also point out that the 5, like the Play 5, is humidity resistant, so it can be positioned in humid environments such as a bathroom or conservatory. Let's move on to the main difference between the 5 and the Play 5, and that's updated internals, including future-ready computing hardware. The new 5 offers increased memory and processing power, as well as BLE, which stands for Bluetooth Low Energy, and NFC, Near Field Communication, for a swifter setup process. An updated wireless radio provides a more stable and powerful Wi-Fi connection, allowing the 5 to be situated further away from your wireless router. It's also worth mentioning that as these speakers are smart speakers, they do come with internal processors. So the 5 has been updated with a quad-core 1.3 GHz CPU processor, which could power a laptop computer. Whilst this may be overkill for now, it offers great scope for what could be possible in the future. Sonos have purchased some small tech companies over the last 18 months, so we're really excited to see what Sonos will do with these technologies. While the Play 5 is compatible with both the old Sonos S1 app and the new S2 app, the new 5 will only work with S2. This means if you have any legacy products in your home, a new 5 would need to be set up on a different system in S2 and couldn't be grouped with those older products. So that wraps up the main differences. Let's talk about some of the similarities between these two models. First and foremost, the 5 has retained the same internal speakers and sound as the popular Play 5. Inside, there are six matching Class D amplifiers with three custom-designed 10cm midwoofers, which are placed at the bottom of the speaker, and three tweeters along the top for the vocals and high frequencies. The left and right tweeters are directed out to the sides in a phased array design to offer a wider soundstage, and they fill a large room comfortably. A sealed architecture prevents any reverb and echo, so you only hear what you want to hear. As I mentioned earlier, the 5 can be used on its own or in a stereo pair. One 5 alone will automatically separate out the left and the right channels to provide impressive stereo sound, or you can take it to the next level with a pair for a true stereo soundstage. 
In this configuration, the speakers will automatically adjust to mono mode to offer a more detailed stereo separation, bringing out the vocals, instruments, and little details in the way the artist intended. Unfortunately though, you can't stereo pair one five with one play five. It would have to be a pair of the same models for this setup, which is a bit of a shame if you've already got a play five and are looking to create a stereo pair. On to how it sounds, so we're always asked for a sound test in our reviews and while we recognise that you'll never fully experience the same sound watching this video as we are in person, it's always nice to give a little flavour. Overall, the Sonos 5 offers a warm, lively sound with every layer and detail captured perfectly. The vocals and high frequencies are crystal clear, but the mid-range is the star of the show. It's soulful and really grabs your attention. So this is not the sort of speaker that you just have playing for background music. It can be listened loud with zero distortion, and there's enough bass there to please even the highest form of bass enthusiasts. So credit to the sound engineering team at Sonos. These guys really know what they're doing to create beautiful sound from a wireless speaker. In a stereo pair, you're getting close to wired sound from a pair of wireless speakers. Put these on some floor stands either side of a console table and you've got one beautiful looking and sounding audio setup. However, when buying a pair, this does put them in the price range of the award-winning KEF LSX, which are fantastic sounding speakers. Therefore, you would need to weigh up what you're really looking for. If you want to listen to high resolution audio now, or you're looking to connect your speakers to a TV, then we would opt for the LSX. These are also available in a larger range of colors such as blue, green, and red to suit your room decor. On the other hand, the Sonos 5s offer a more complete experience from the streaming services available, additional features, methods of control, and becoming part of a whole sound system. The Sonos 5 also benefits from a dedicated 3.5mm jack, which allows you to connect an external device such as a CD player or a turntable. This is a really simple way of enjoying your vinyl records on a wireless speaker, and being part of the Sonos ecosystem, a big plus of this setup is that you can send the audio to any other Sonos devices in your house. So for example, you could have a 5 connected to a turntable in your office, and then send that audio to a Sonos 1 in your lounge to enjoy the sound of vinyl throughout your home. This is one of our favourite setups at Smart Home Sounds, because you can capture the emotions and the ownership of the vinyl, but also benefit from convenient wireless streaming using the Sonos ecosystem when you want to. We also have to point out the line-in autoplay feature, which means that once enabled, it will automatically switch to the line-in input once it senses a signal. So in the turntable's case, that's when the needle hits the vinyl, so no button pressing required. I'll just add now that we will be doing a separate video all about how to enjoy vinyl on Sonos, including the setup process, so make sure you subscribe to keep an eye out for that. Aside from its sound quality, let's move on to some additional features. Like other Sonos speakers, the 5 can be controlled in a number of ways. So the Sonos app can be used to tweak EQ settings such as bass and treble, play radio stations and stream from over 100 streaming services including Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal and more. The 5 is also AirPlay 2 compatible so you can cast audio straight from an iOS device to the speaker or you can use Spotify Connect to stream straight from the Spotify app using your smart device. There's no Bluetooth in this model, which will be a drawback for some, but the reason for this, we think, is that Sonos want to keep Bluetooth for portable speakers, and they've already done this in their Sonos Move Bluetooth speaker, which you can take outside the home as well as enjoy it indoors. Wi-Fi through the form of the Sonos app, Spotify Connect or AirPlay 2 is a much more robust form of control for listening at home because it doesn't interrupt the listening experience from other sounds from your phone, it doesn't drain your device's battery and it lets you roam around your home without range issues. TruePlay tuning can also be used to enhance the audio quality of the 5 for the room you're in. Using the Sonos app on an iOS device, the speaker will emit test tones to detect the size and layout of your room and furniture. 
it will then automatically adjust the EQ settings for the best possible uh, performance in that room. We would 100% recommend this and what we really like is Sonos gives you the ability to toggle this on and off to hear the changes made to the speaker's audio. We're always skeptical of room tuning software that doesn't allow you to see the differences. Now some may find it disappointing that this new upgrade still doesn't offer built-in voice control from either Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. Like the Play 5, the 5 is compatible with Alexa and Google Home products which can be used to control the speaker via voice but Sonos haven't followed the trend of adding built-in voice control capacity like they have with the majority of their newer speakers such as the Move and the Arc. This is most likely because they've only tweaked the Play 5 with the differences I've mentioned earlier on in the video and they've also said they focused on sound rather than adding mics. This could be seen as a bit of a cop-out and some people are going to be disappointed at the uh, absence of voice control but there is that workaround with connecting to a voice controlled device or grouping it with um, another voice controlled Sonos speaker. Let's move on to who we would recommend this for and the pros and cons of the new 5. Firstly, if you have a Play 5 already, there isn't really any need to upgrade to the 5 right now. While there are some minor differences, the sound and the performance remains pretty much the same. The Play 5 has been a hugely popular speaker for Sonos since its first iteration, which was released back in 2009, and besides some tweaks here and there, why fix something that isn't broken? If you're considering a Play 5 already, then you'll now be getting the latest model with a sleeker, more modern design and better internals for any future updates, especially since the launch of the new, uh, the new Sonos S2 app. The team here are really looking forward to the addition of the rumoured high resolution listening. So for those Hi-Fi enthusiasts who maybe own a Tidal Hi-Fi, Deezer Elite or Koba subscription with high res files, you'll be able to benefit from an even more enhanced listening experience. If you're a real music lover and want to enjoy your favourite albums and artists, then the 5 is a good option. Whether you opt to use one alone, two in a stereo pair, or take your home cinema setup to the next level using a pair as rears to a Sonos soundbar, you'll experience bold sound with great detail. The dedicated line-in makes this a great option for vinyl enthusiasts, offering a gateway between older hi-fi and the modern Sonos system, giving you the best of both worlds. The main pros for the 5, which some are not necessarily pros over the Play 5, are wide, vibrant, room-filling audio, a refreshed, sleek design, true play tuning to help the speaker become more spatially aware of its environment, updated internals and future-proofed hardware, uh, and of course the line-in option for connecting a turntable. On the other hand, there's no built-in voice control, it can't be used in a stereo pair with an older Play 5, uh, and it's a Wi-Fi only speaker with no support for Bluetooth, and that line-in does become disabled if the speakers are used as rears for a soundbar. It's also up against some strong competitors at this price point. For us, this speaker has been designed with studio quality sound in mind. We're big fans of the Play 5 model with a few in our office, and the new 5 retains all the features we love with a slight facelift and internal upgrades. So if you're considering Sonos or any other system such as the KEF LSX, then get in touch. We're a company of music lovers and we're always happy to help you find the right speakers for you or answer any questions you have. If you did want any advice or have any questions, get in touch via email, phone or live chat on our website. Our customer service team are always happy to help. I'll pop a link in the description if you want to learn more on the 5. That just about wraps up this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.